So if you've ever had tennis elbow, you know how debilitating it can be. But we have help here with us today. Dr. George Mayo with Arizona State Orthopedics. You're with us to help us with our tennis elbows. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yes. I was excited to talk to you because a year ago, last August actually, I was pay playing tennis with my niece and nephew. And I afterwards, the next day, it started to hurt. And then I couldn't even pick up a cup. It can be, you know, even uh, small little ob objects like cups of coffee or a can of soup can be extremely debilitating. People, even one pound can feel like a hundred pounds, but yeah. yes, that is pretty common. So what happens? How do we get this? It's an overuse mm -hmm. injury, and it's actually one specific muscle that they've identified called the ECRB. If you want to Google that, you can. Right but here. Yes, <laughs> That's right. Feel it. There, there is a, there's several muscles there, but essentially it's a small muscle doing a large amount of work just by basic physics. Mm -hmm. The moment arm is your entire forearm. So even though it feels like you know, two, one or two pounds of a cup of coffee, with this distance, it actually puts a lot of pressure on there and it overuses. And what we've actually seen when we go into surgery is it becomes grayish as opposed to the oh. normal muscles that are red or you know, bleeding. You know, it becomes grayish, so it's sort of dying there. So you're actually doing surgery for this. Okay, well, we're <laughs> jump, jumping over a little yes. bit. The, the vast majority of people do not need surgery. I would say 90% of people who develop tennis elbow, which is a pain like you described on the outside of the elbow. It can be sharp, it can be dull, it affects uh, all ages, both sexes, all professions, and they don't necessarily have to play tennis. They just have a pain on the outside of the elbow. And it's like, a, like we talked to Brad, other diseases, like they're called waste basket type diseases. They'll just send me from other doctors and say, oh, he has tennis elbow. And most time wow. it is, but not all the time. But if you have pain on the outside of the elbow, that's tennis elbow. The inside of the elbow is actually called golfer's elbow, not as common, but the vast majority of time, we just try stretching, stretching, stretching. Those are the first three things that we try. Okay, show me, show me the stretches I should be well, doing. Well, there's a picture online, but all, almost, you wanna keep your elbows extended and pull your wrists down like this, okay? Mm -hmm. And then one of the problems that people do about stretching is they don't hold it long enough. You should hold it for about uh, 60 seconds to about 90 seconds, and you'll find that about 60 seconds, your muscles actually re relax just a little bit more and you can get a little bit more of a stretch. Mm -hmm. Now, in stretching techniques, we always talk about doing opposite stretches, so I tell people to do the opposite one, okay? You can do it with your arm in the air or sometimes over a ledge like a chair mm -hmm. or a table. You can sort of relax and really you want to stretch out that muscle so you can sort of keep your elbows extended, but you're doing it over a ledge, you know? So and this muscle is yeah. actually helping this muscle. Well, is this is happening? over there. It actually inserts onto the bony part. You can take okay. your fing one of your fingers and just find out where it's painful and just push on it, and that'll be the area that's most painful. Ah. And that's where that tendon is originating from and going to your wrist, and you pull it down, you're doing that mild stretch of there. Okay. And that's the vast majority. That's really all they need. I would say 90% of people will get better. Now it could take several months. And yeah, that's what I, to, how long? I mean, this has been since last August for me. It could take up to an entire year of, wow. of persistent stretching. Yeah. Okay? And some people, if it's tolerable, they'll get by with it and they'll just come along, they'll, they'll just keep on doing that. Yeah. If, if it doesn't help at three or four months, then I'll, sometimes I'll try a steroid injection, you know? Mm. Some people, uh, Bob probably report it's a short-term relief more than a long-term relief, but I'm, I'm willing to try that. And if it's really painful, it's really debilitating, then there are surgeries that we perform for it. Now overall, the results of, the success rates of the surgery are probably about 65, 70%. I'm sure you can go online and tell people, find people who are swearing by these surgeries, but overall the success rate is about 60 to 70%, and that's all comer. So we don't like to jump into a Start surgery. There. yeah. Jump into surgery that we know is only 60, 70% successful. We like to try non-operative, but if somebody just cannot function through the day, then it becomes an option, usually about the four or five month range. But I really push them to stretch it as much as you can. And the key thing is they need to be persistent about it. They need sure. to do it three times a day. I tell them do once when you wake up, do once when you go to sleep and find some time in the middle of the day, that's three times, and do about five to 10 minutes and hold each stretch for about 60 to 90 seconds. Okay. So. Anything we can do to prevent this? I think you can do those same stretches even if you don't have the pain. That's a, that's a very good question. People who, who are especially tennis players, but everybody in general, these things like uh, tennis elbow, plantar fasciitis, you read about these things, these are overuse injuries. And if you wanna be somebody who, who, worked, who wants to stay active later in life, continue stretching exercises. And yeah. for your elbows, definitely do that same yeah. one. I do that same one every day before I, you know, do it. I don't do the full five to 10 minutes, sure. but before I work out. I'll do that type okay. of exercises, you know, because we use our fingers a lot, and I really, I really don't want to be able to no, have, have pain in middle not. surgery. Yeah, right? thank you so much for coming on. This was really informative. Okay, and I hope, yeah. I hope you learned a lot. Yeah.